So let's, um, let's go over this stuff here. So again, if we want to find uh, the derivative, now we notice, remember the derivative of e to the x is just going to be e to the x, right? So it's just going to be the standard, but then it's times the derivative of the, of the uh, inside function. Well, the derivative of the inside function is not just some like easy, you know, easy derivative. So I'm just going to do that separately, just so you guys can remember. So if we're going to do that separately, we can bring down the one, or we can rewrite that as a one half power. So we can bring down the one half times three x plus four to the negative one half, and then times three. So basically, what we'd have is the chain rule. So therefore, if I was going to simplify this, I would have 3 over 2 times the square root of 3x plus 4. So that's the derivative of my inside function. So I'm going to multiply that over here. So it's going to be times 3 over 2 square root of 3x plus 4. Now, it looks like they gave you a multiple choice solutions. So I'm looking at f prime of x equals 3e to the square root of 3x plus 4 all over 2 square root of 3x plus 4. They didn't rationalize the denominator, or is that a? That's an answer choice? OK. So yeah, so a lot of times, guys, when you have like these multiple chain rules, I wouldn't recommend doing it below it. I would recommend doing it to the side as needed. But you know, just you guys know how to do the derivative of this. I mean, you, we've done plenty of these examples. But a lot of times when they get mixed in with other problems, we make mistakes on the simple stuff. So my recommendation was just, you know, you know that you're going to have to take the derivative of the square root of 3x plus 4. So just go to the side and take the derivative of it because it is a chain rule. It does include negative exponents. You know, so people do make mistakes on those things. But they're silly mistakes because we all know where we 